Shout out to youth. Um, Paula Sandridge, man, Oc Nation Hall of Famer. Pa Paula comes back again. She said, hey, fishermen. Oh, ball as well. What about those tunnels? Huh? Wow. Grabbers are up to something. <laughs> Grabbers. <laughs> Paula, dude, or a chick? Paula? I think Paula's that... a chick, man. Every oh, Paula's, Paula's a gun name, man. <laughs> Lordy Pauls. I mean, it was a, it was a you never know nowadays. You never know nowadays. That's true. That's true. That's fair. Yeah, Paul is a chick, man. Um, I mean, grabblers are always up to something. Grabbers. Like right now, as we're doing this show, there's like 10 of them in a room somewhere doing some weird thing with some plan. I never heard of that good. term. What is that? Yeah. It's just yeah. another word. Grabbers. I think uh, I think Owen Benjamin uses it. Grabbers. It's another word for juice crew. Do they grab? They always grab it. Everything. <laughs> Yeah, they're always scheming. Wow. Speaking of scheming. She was not the intended victim. Then to your side's Amy Avery has reaction from family members and the collaboration on this case. 59-year-old Lillian Bond was taking out the trash back on Trice Terrace in Norfolk in April of 2016 when investigators say she was shot in cold blood. Family members say although they killed Aunt Reese that day, they didn't destroy their family. It's nothing that the judge could have sentenced them to that we haven't been sentenced to. We're doing a life without our matriarch of our family. Family members say Lillian Bond was a <clears throat> woman who was loved by many and welcomed all. She accepted people for where they were uh, without passing judgment. Bond was taking out the trash in Norfolk on April 19th of 2016 when federal prosecutors say she was shot. Norfolk FBI Special Agent in Charge Brian Dugan says a few days before Bond was gunned down, a Norfolk-based drug dealer didn't pay $81,000 for a large delivery of cocaine. Jaquante Simpson and Landis Jackson, the leaders of a long-running drunk ring based in Greensboro, North Carolina, worked to retaliate by hiring Caleb Shipman. So we literally have a recording where the leader said, the next person out of that residence needs to get killed, needs to get shot. Shipman then recruited Nelson Evans. Damn. That's she crazy. Was happy to be taking the trash out. That's crazy. Something women never do. Women never take the trash out. That's crazy. Shit. Wow. We literally have a recording where the leader said the next person out of that residence needs to get killed, needs to get shot. Shipman then recruited Nelson Evans to help in the murder for hire, offering to pay him part of the money. And on the 18th, they drove to Norfolk. Dugan says a few years after the murder, a Norfolk police investigator who was part of their Safe Streets task force brought the case to them. But it took several agencies working together to bring them to justice. It's not just Norfolk on their own doing this, that North Carolina, the FBI, we're going to get on board and help uh, determine who did this. U.S. Attorney for the Eastern District of Virginia, Jessica Aber, says partnerships like this between local and federal agencies have been happening more and more because criminals know no boundaries. And they should know that we, uh, as prosecutors and investigators and law enforcement, are not constricted by boundaries like that either. The FBI says there are no more arrests to come in this investigation. Yes, you are. And Lillian's family says they can now move forward as Aunt Reese would want them to do. In Norfolk, Amy Avery, 10 on your side. Smash, Amy. Off the top of six tonight, new video just in of a wild fight that led to a student being shot near Northwestern High School. The gunfire happening just moments after a high school basketball game. And now the 15-year-old victim is in critical condition. Contact. Let's go right to local tens. Alex Finney live in Northwest Miami Dade with the latest on this, Alex. And Louie and Nicole, this is absolutely devastating. I can't even imagine what this family is 